Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Certified Football Six Box Half End of an Inner Case. Pick your team number four. We did the first half of that inner case yesterday. Remember, we marked all of these number four, so we all know they come from the same inner case. Big thanks to all of these people here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. On Wednesday the 4th, thank you. Shot it with uh, Double Last Spot Mojo, Giants and Skins. So thanks very much on that. He also closed out the Futera break, which is coming up after this. And then we'll probably call it a night after that. So thanks, everybody. Great way to close out the night. Two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. All right, Autosave is saying he's going to start betting on football. What, for the first time? You might be might be less breaking unless you win some three Teamsters. Or Team, oh, you're doing parlays? I heard a story of a, of a person in Vegas who every week would be, would uh, bet like, I think it was like a thousand dollars or something like that on like um, on the full slate of games. All right, every week, you just come in, look at the full slate of games that were available that day, and and parlay the entire slate. Thousand dollars a week, and he was good enough where at least, oh, well, he was good enough where he would win at least once a season. And you hit that parlay, right? Think about it. How many how many games are there? I mean, a full slate of games would be 16, but you know, usually there's what, like 10, 10 games a weekend or something like that with the buys and all that sort of stuff. You hit one of those, $1,000, dollars you're pretty nice. And that covers you and gives you profit. And then you do it again next year. Hakeem Butler, new generation relic to $299. For Rick Barker, who has the Cardinals. He's looking for possibly the person that will be throwing Hakeem Butler passes, if you guys know what I mean. Not Joe Flacco. But I wonder if some if 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 I did like I don't know, how often would uh close what I get 58 out of 99 Nick and I are doing a big football contest in Vegas though bye guys um, Brian Langley with the Seahawks Nick Jasmine and I are doing the Circa Millions football contest if, if you want to basically you have to pick five games choose five games against the spread and then the winner at the end of the season, who gets whoever has the most points at the end of the season doing that all, all 17 weeks. That goes to Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. We'll get a um, million dollars. But we would have to pick, A, the right games and win them at a 70% clip, which is, pretty, which is pretty difficult. Win them at a 70% clip for us to even have a chance at, at the money. So wish us luck, folks. First week, this week, we have we're working been working on our picks. We'll reveal them on Friday or Saturday. Certified gamers, Ed Westbrook to two ninety nine. Our entry is Jaspi as well. So if they have some sort of like public sort of thing, leaderboard, you can track our our adventures. There is a uh, Jamel Dean, and no, this is not coming out of our advertising marketing budget. This is coming out of our own pockets. But, I don't know. Put some attention on, on Jaspies, why not? All right, next box. Gilo is saying someone hit a massive parley a few months ago. You saw it on ESPN. What was that? Do you remember what it was? Um, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of picking things, I just, last night, I just set up 
our uh, if you look at if you're li watching live, or you can check our Facebook group. Most of you are in our buy, sell, trade, and chat Facebook group. If you look there, you can join our uh, Jaspies Pro Pick'em League on Yahoo. You will have to, if you don't have one already, you will have to sign for a Yahoo account. I think they'll let you use like a Gmail account to register for. Thing. All their rules and restrictions apply. No prizes at the moment, but I would encourage everybody to, when they register for this, to use their, uh, to use some part of their real name so I know who you are. And that way, if we decide to give any prizes, we'll, we'll be able to track you down. Oh, and you have to at least be registered to our, no purchase necessary, we have to be at least be registered to the website. So we know where to send things if we wanted to. I don't know. I haven't thought of what. Maybe we'll have a weekly prize. Maybe. Like $10 a break credit if you win the week. Maybe 50 bucks if you win the season. It's free. It's fun. It's something for us to talk about too throughout the season. You know, if there's someone who's like, who seems, who's like crowing about how, how good their picks are and blah, blah, blah. We're like, all right, prove it. You know, make your picks in the in the in the Jasper Pro Pick'em League. Make your picks. Put your put your picks where your mouth is, right? There's no money involved. Out of 149, AJ Green. No auto save. Like Ryan L would be a lot easier. <laughs> or Ryan auto save one L. It's a mostly for bragging rights. So if like if someone in the chat is like, "Oh man, so and so against spread, absolutely, I'm totally gonna," you know. But then we're like, "I never said that." He didn't. No offense for uh, Roberta Daniels and the Broncos. So this just keeps us accountable, folks. Keeps us accountable. Gives people some bragging rights in the chat. There's Le'Veon Bell to fifty. There is Case Keenum. Someone is always someone's gonna look at our picks one week, and they'll be like, "Joe, I told you not to pick that team," and be like, "Well, did you pick them in our pick them league?" Who no. Well, then I don't believe you. I don't believe you ever told us that. Three color patch and autograph out of four ninety nine. They give you a lot of nice color out of four ninety nine. Bengals Ryan Finley Serenity with that one. Cat team mojo. There's his defensive end Josh Allen. And there's Mark Chimura, old Packer to 99, mirror signatures for uh, Justin Ward in Green Bay. All right, next box. Now folks, I got a question for you, for those of you who are listening. For the 40 people watching right now this late at night, thank you for staying up late with me. There's always a team, and I've asked this before, but I always like hearing people's opinions. There's always different people watching all the time. There's always a team that didn't make the playoffs last year that will make the playoffs the following year. What team is that going to be? Teams that didn't make the playoffs. Really quick. Dolphins, Bills, Jets. Steelers. No, Steelers made the playoffs last year. Did they not? Steelers, Browns, Bengals. That's right, they didn't. They went 9-6. Um, Titans, Jaguars. Broncos, Raiders. Redskins, Giants. Vikings, Packers, Lions. Falcons, Panthers, Buccaneers. Niners, Cardinals. Oh, except for Cleveland. That's too obvious, Derek and Todd Father. That's too easy. Fine, Cle Cleveland Browns. Is definitely one, you're right. I agree, that's definitely one. What non-playoff team from 2018 will be a playoff team in 2019? Stop auto save. That's a joke. Dolphins, get out of here. Chad says, "I'll give you two: Browns, Packers." All right. So, okay, what about maybe not the obvious ones? <laughs> like Steelers and Browns don't count. You know, like Broncos don't count. 
Uh, Vikings and Packers don't count. <laughs> Falcons and Falcons don't count. What about the... Uh, yeah, those, those teams don't count. I feel like those are obvious, right? I mean, obvious as in... They're, I'm not sure they're going to make it, but but obvious as a good candidate. Oakland, all right, all right. Thanks, guys. You know that kissing up to me does not will not yield better hits, Derek and Mark, Lance, but... Yeah, I could see Oakland surprising some people. They've they've got a lot of a lot of things have to click right, but all right, new generation, Deontay Johnson. Yeah, maybe I actually am answering my own question by the by this process of elimination. But though, but I, I guess, but really, what's left are just uh, like less obvious teams, more longer shot teams. I guess is really what I'm getting at. So, what longer shot teams? have a chance that didn't make the playoffs last year that have a chance to play us this year. This team, maybe? That's for the Panthers. That goes to Derek Bratton. Maybe. If Christian McCaffrey goes off. Cam Newton's healthy. It's out of 299, Jordan Scarlett. Meikle Hardman, new generation relic to 99. Casa says 100% Broncos. Gilo says, I think Pitt will be relevant again. No more distractions. Yeah, that could, that could be true. Raiders. I would love for the Raiders to be in the playoff. I think they're, I think they're still a year or two away. All right, Mark Lance wants reverse question. Which teams won't make the playoffs that did make the playoffs last year? Got Darius Slayton, two-color patch and autographed, four ninety nine dollars freshman fabric. Todd says Bears. That's for the New York football giants. Shahadi with that one. Really down on your Bears? Down on Mitch Trubisky. Look at that. That card is gold. One out of five. Gold team Mitchell Trubisky for Jared Morling and the Bears. Nice. Jared, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice hit. Oh, right. They didn't. I thought. No, they did make the playoffs last year. Bears made the playoffs in 2018. I think Mark is asking for the playoff teams last year who's not going to make the playoffs this year? Three boxes to go. So the playoff teams last year. Playoff, Patriots made, made the playoffs. Ravens made the playoffs. Texans, Colts made the playoffs. Chiefs, Chargers made the playoffs. Dallas, uh, Cowboys, Eagles made the playoffs. Bears made the playoffs. Saints made the playoffs. Rams, Seahawks made the playoffs. What playoff team this year won't make the playoffs what playoff team from 2018 will not make the playoffs this current season? That's the question that Mark Lance is asking. It's a good question. Yeah, I think who was saying Chad? Yeah, I don't think I see the Colts. I think the Colts are going to be better than people think they're going to be. But I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I actually think the Jaguars are going to... I mean, but they didn't make the playoffs last year. Um... I can see the Texans not being in the playoffs this year. I can see the Colts not being in the playoffs this year. Chargers. Kenton saying Chargers not in the playoffs. I don't know. That AFC West is pretty much Chiefs Chargers and that's it. Patriots are, of course, making the playoffs. Ravens. Ravens might fall out of that playoff spot. They were 10 and 6. They won the AFC North last year. They're going to fall out of that. They might fall out of that playoff spot from last year. 
Cowboys, someone said Eagle. Andy's saying Eagles are going to fall out of that playoff spot. All right, because I think Vikings and Packers. If NFC North could snag that other spot, that'll be interesting. Then the Ravens get Earl Thomas? Gilo's saying Ravens lost a lot of defense. Um, I, I'm not sure if the Seahawks are going to make the playoffs, are they? I think they got they got in they got in a wild card spot last year, right? Yeah, they got a wild card spot last year. I'm not sure if are they going to return. Oh, there's Russell Wilson. He's like, you talking about me, Joe? Oh, you just watch me. AJ Brown, Scott V with the Tennessee Titans. That's a 299. Nice color for out of 299. Brian Burns to 199. And there's Darius Leonard. 17 out of 25, certified potential autograph for your Defensive Rookie of the Year. Scott V with the Colts. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year, right? Right, because it wasn't the uh, there wasn't, wasn't the Browns corner or Derwin James, the Chargers corner. I think it was him. At 99, Alvin Kamara. J.J. Watt, superb relic to 299. Jared Morling with the Texans. L.J. Collier to 399. And there is Will Greer, new generation relic for the Panthers. That's going to be for Derek Bratton. Who has looked good in the preseason? So if Cam Newton has some injury issues, he might be able to fill in admirably. Julian Edelman, four fifty. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. <coughs> Every once in a while, ladies and gentlemen, in NFL history, there is oftentimes the worst team in the league the previous year turns it around and either has a winning record or maybe even becomes a playoff team. That has happened a few times. I think it's I think that's happened to the Chiefs a couple times, maybe one or tw once or twice, where they've made these massive turnarounds. I think the Colts have also experienced this uh, in the past among a handful of other teams, but not a lot in all of NFL history. I think maybe it's it might be like 10 or 12 teams. So 10 or 12 seasons where, where a bad team just becomes a really good team. Last year, the worst record in football were the 3 and 13 Cardinals. Do they have a chance to become an 8 and 8 team or maybe even a playoff team? Sneaky playoff team. Who believes that? Because every once in a while it does happen. It's just kind of out of, a lot of times out of the blue. Actually, no. I think the Colts one situation was Andrew Luck. Or they got Peyton and Andrew Luck, I think. Like many years later. <laughs> I think that was what it was. The worst record in football the year before. And then they drafted Andrew Luck. Or drafted Peyton. And then they had a great record. And then the cycle happened again. They had a bad year. Drafted Andrew Luck. And they had a great year. But every once in a while it happens. Could the Cardinals be that team this year? There's Clayton Thorson, another out of five. 
for the Eagles. That goes to Ryan LaRoya. Auto save. There you go, man. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. No, no one believes in the Cardinals. Huh? There's Tyler Boyd. I guess silence. The silence in the chat tells me all. Tyler Boyd to two ninety nine. People are just like, that's just so crazy. I'm not even going to respond, Joe. It's just some reckless chatter there from Joe. There's Travis Homer to 50. New generation relic. Five out of 35, Drew Locke. I kind of like that teal. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. We sort of see a teal parallel color right there. It looks nice. Pops. That goes to Oppo Joe Mojo for Roberta Daniels. Yeah, those crickets, Andy. <laughs> They're just like, stop, Joe. That's just crazy talk. It's too late to engage in that kind of reckless chatter. All right, last box. We're almost done. Then Futera after this, and then I think we're going to call a night after that. Good luck, everybody. I feel like we haven't seen... Well, we've got a couple train whistles. I guess we got that AJ Brown RPA. I feel like there really hasn't been like a bang. You know what I mean? Like a you know a certain Cardinals quarterback maybe. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. There's Stefan Diggs. Can you dig it? No offense. 12, 12 out of 25? Nope, 11 out of 25. Can't read. That's a catch, right? You know, the eyes are watching it right into his hands. There you go. Broncos, Roberta. We got Mike Allstott, Immortals to 199. What happened to the what happened to the fullback? Bring the fullback back. And we got Gary Jennings Jr. Nice patch. And auto out of 299. Seahawks, that'll be for Brian Langley. Who's riding out the storm in South Carolina. Good luck. There's Julian Love. And there's my boy, Jonathan Abram. John, John, you got to work on that autograph, buddy. One out of 50. He's got to come to Jaspi's autograph camp. I don't know. For a guy that got, talk, talks a lot, I feel like he'd have a, he'd have a more, uh, more flair on that autograph. But all right. We'll, we'll invite him to Jaspi's autograph camp with guest speaker, Ozzie Smith. AJ uh, Bouye, 49 out of 200, certified gamers relic for the Jags. That'll be for Chad. Sylvia, got you, Chad. <laughs> A little something, something at the end. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. 42 out of 50, that's Jalen Hurd. That's already a catch. And... We are donezos. No points, nothing to randomize. That is all. Six box, half case inner. Pick your team four in the book, certified football. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Andy says Cardinals go 5, 11, 6, and 10 at best. I think I agree with you. There you go. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.